Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with me. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been and forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, your mercies are. All I have needed, in thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Stars in their courses above join with all nature in manifold witness to thy great faithfulness, mercy and love. Great Jesus Christ, 
Lord, we thank you for this privilege we have to stand in your presence this morning, Lord, and to declare of your faithfulness towards us. We thank you, Lord, that every morning your mercies are new. You fill us with loving kindness and tenderness. We thank you, Lord, for your hand upon each one of us. We thank you, Lord, that you care for every detail in our lives. And Lord, when you are there for us, we know, Lord, that we can rest assured, be rest assured in your love, in your peace. And we know, Lord, that our future is secure because you are in charge of it. And this morning, Lord, we submit ourselves into your hands. We ask you, O oh Lord, to once again fill us afresh with your presence. We ask you, O oh Lord, as we look to you, we do not look anywhere else but to you this morning. And we ask you, Lord, to fill us to overflowing with your love, with your joy, with your peace. And we thank you, Lord, that as we seek your kingdom and your righteousness, everything that we need will be added unto us. And Lord, I submit everyone in our hand, into your hands this morning, whoever is listening to this service. I pray, O oh God, that your hand be upon them, that your presence move in their homes, O oh God, to touch and heal and deliver and to impart your peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, church. We'd like to welcome you to this morning's service. We encourage you to uh, sing with us and worship our God in spirit and in truth. Amen. Great is the Lord God Almighty. Great is the Lord Almighty. The train of His robe fills the temple, and we cry out. Glory to the risen King. Glory to the Son. Glorious Son. Lift up your hands. Open the Lord God Almighty, great is the Lord God Almighty, great is the Lord Almighty, the train of His road fills the temple.
Holy is the Lord God Almighty. Holy is the Lord Almighty. Let all the earth bow before you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything you've done for us. We thank you, Lord, you have filled us with your salvation. You have given us your salvation. You have filled us with your spirit. You have equipped us for everything this life needs from us. You have equipped us for everything that we need to do, Lord God, to live and to enjoy this world 
in your presence oh father we thank you you have equipped us with everything that we need to fulfill our calling and our mandate that you have put upon our lives oh god we pray oh father this morning that as we worship you that that you would touch us in you oh god wherever we are in this place in our homes as we lift up our worship to you and you alone as we give you our prime focus and all our attentions upon you alone jesus for you alone are worthy you alone are worthy to be praised you alone are worthy to be worshiped and before you we bow down we lay our lives before you hallelujah Bless the Lord this morning. He's our shield, our shelter. I will bless the Lord forever.
time of need I pray oh God let, let us realize this with all our hearts let us rest assured be assured of this that you are our strong tower thank you Jesus and that you may make a way for us where there seems to be no way oh God you are a way maker a miracle worker a promise keeper You are here moving in our midst I worship you I worship you You are here working in this place I worship you I worship you You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you, I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you, I worship you. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here to open every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. Given every heart. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you, I 
worship you. You are here, lending every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. 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 We take a miracle of the promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. We make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are. See it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. When I don't feel it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. We make a miracle work. Promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are. We make a miracle work. Promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Yes, Lord, we thank you that you are the way maker, the promise keeper, the miracle worker, and the light in this present darkness. Lord, we know, Lord, that even though this is 
problems and darkness around us, but we know that you are the way maker for us. You will make a way out of this darkness and bring us out into your light, oh Father. And I pray this morning, Lord, that whoever of us, some of us are more affected than others, oh God, because of this situation. I pray, Lord, that you would, your hand would uphold them, that you would provide for them their every need, whether it be finances or jobs or peace or calmness or quietness or wisdom or guidance. I pray, O oh Father, that it will be our portion because you are a God who fills us and supplies us our need and meets us at a point of need. So I pray, O oh Lord God, this morning be our way, way maker. And as you show us the way, I pray that you would give us the courage and the strength and the grace to walk in it in the way that you have provided for us. We thank you, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that our light would shine out in the darkness. That you, Lord Jesus, would shine through our hearts and our lives in this present darkness. I pray, O oh Lord God, that we would be an extension of your love to the ones around us. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. And Lord, we also lift up the nation of Pakistan this morning, Lord. Lord, only you know what is the problems and the situations, the root of the problems and situations in that nation. But we know, Lord, your word said, ask of me and I will give the nations as an inheritance. So we pray, O oh Lord God, and we ask that the nation of Pakistan would see your light, Lord Jesus Christ that they would see that you are the light shining in the darkness. That they would see, O oh Father, that the cross is the only way unto you, O oh Lord God. There is no other way. That is the way you have made for us, for the entire world. And we pray, O oh Lord God, that Pakistan will be saved for your name's sake, in Jesus' name. We pray for every leader in that country, everyone who is a decision maker that forges the path ahead for the entire nation and its peoples. We pray, pray, O Lord God, that your wisdom would rest upon them, that decisions that they make would be divinely inspired by you, O Father. Your word says that you hold the hands of the kings, uh, hold the hearts of the king in your hand. And we pray, O Father, that you would hold their hearts and turn them to the Lord Jesus Christ and unto righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray. I'd like to invite Pastor Chandy, Jacob Chandy, to give us the word of God this morning. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I want to just uh, give thanks to my God for this team, music ministry and the media team are dedicated their time and talents to praise and worship the Lord in the morning. And let the God bless them mightily. I greet you all the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ this morning, the first Friday of March 2021, the third month, third month, third is important in the Bible. Let us accept from God a miracle in our life hardly a change in the world. People are confused. People are fear. Let them delivered by the word of God and the presence of God. As I always tell this morning, we are having 
Holy Communion who were prepared in their house, we prayerfully attend that. And wherever you are, wherever you are, don't miss the presence of God. If your heart is open, if your mind is not diverted to anything else, surely you will experience the presence of God. And there we receive the deliverance, the miracle from God. Hallelujah. Today is the day God has made. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice. Let us bow our head and pray. Father, we thank you for this day. Once again, we look unto you and ask you your wisdom and understanding to hear and know and obey your word. For the rest of the time, we come to your feet and ask you to bless each and every one. Bless each and every one with your word, O Master. Father, we thank you. We give all glory, honor and praises to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us read Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. Therefore, be imitators of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us, an offering and the sacrifice of God for a sweet-smelling aroma. Inviting us to imitate Christ, a call to imitate God, hallelujah. The call to imitate God, copy God, Him. Or follow His example. Follow his example. How we can follow somebody's example without seeing? God, no one has seen God. That is why the second word says, As the Christ also loved, to follow God. The example of God, we have to follow Christ. One day, Philip, his disciple, Philip was asking, when Jesus was explaining about the Father, Philip was telling in John chapter 14, verse 7 on, onwards, we can read that. When you come to the eighth verse, he is asking, show me the Father. Show me the God for us. Jesus in answering. In the ninth verse, Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. He who has seen me has seen the Father. So, Jesus is our example. Whom we are copying, whom we are imitating, imitating is Jesus Christ. In chapter 1, John chapter 1, verse 18, there also it is mentioned clearly, no one has seen God at any time. Now people are claiming. But Bible clearly says, 
no one has seen god at any time and the moses asked to have a thirst to see and he didn't see. so he lives in such a light nobody can see but bible says no one has seen god at any time the only begotten son who is in the bosom of the father he has declared him he has shown to us he has revealed to us the father god so when paul is writing to colossians colossians chapter 1 verse 15 colossians chapter 1 verse 15 says he is the image of the invisible god the first born over all creation he is the image of the invisible god how we can copy god how we can imitate god how we can be a example of god by looking at christ jesus christ that is why paul when paul is writing corinthians first corinthians chapter 11 verse 1 says as i follow christ you also follow me oh what a strong word what a confidence is following christ it can confidently say as i follow christ you follow me the looking at christ we will become not only looking but receiving receiving from him therefore be imitators of god as dear children walk in love as christ also has loved us and given himself for us two things it is mentioned important thing we learn from christ is it is what i want to bring to your attention it is we receive we can imitate the things is one is he give himself second thing he loved us this is a two important thing church has to do a person who believe in god has to who believe in jesus christ has to do love hallelujah and give himself hallelujah that is what we can see in god God so loved the world he gave himself that is the first part God so loved the world he gave himself that two things is in giving himself that is why when Paul write to Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 onwards let you have this mind of christ let you also have the mind of christ what is the important thing the rest of the words we read one first thing is 
he emptied himself he emptied his hell he leave heaven he leave his position and come down dear brothers and sisters this is a important thing for us to follow if we lose our position we are ready to go up this is worldly standard worldly way climbing the ladder ladder in the god's way he come down coming down from the ladder being among the halya people in this world halya this is a question for me and you whether we can come down to the level of the people who need the love whether we can come down that is the first part that is a gospel that is a gospel he came from heaven he born as a human being he died on the cross he suffered he took is he, he become sacrifice on the cross are we willing to follow this path this god has given to the church these two responsibilities one is giving the gospel and second is loving that people hallelujah when paul wrote romans that first letter in the bible in the first chapter is full he is telling i am a debater to the gospel of jesus christ two things is mentioning in that book we are a debater one is for the gospel to going going out and being with the needy people this gospel that is the first one that is what we read in uh, romans chapter romans chapter 1 verse 14 romans chapter 1 verse 14 i am a debater both to the greeks and to barbarians both to wise and the unwise whether you are educated or not educated whether you are rich or poor paul is telling i am a debater hallelujah this is what god did when he is asking to imitate when he is asking to follow when he is asking to copy him the first thing has to come to our mind in my mind is go out reach the people tell the gospel halleluya that is the one thing we become the better halleluya bible says the second thing is in chapter chapter 13 verse 8 in chapter 13 verse 8 oh no one anything except to love one another for he who loves another as fulfill the law hallelujah listen here comes another 
the but what is that that is the love to showing the love to sharing the love to sacrificing my ourself that is the two things in this two way only we can imitate god the only we this way we can follow christ he came down from the heaven he left the heavenly place he left the position he left the whole the holy all what we have Yes, he came down, being with us, and he share his love. Hallelujah! This is the message you and me are to carry. This is the message we are to express through our this walk. in love walk means what put it in action not standing not sitting put it in action hallelujah walking efesians chapter 5 3 4 walking it is mentioned there walk in love walk in light walk in wisdom walk in unity walk the first one imitate god that comes in action by walking in love that is sharing the gospel sharing this love and put it into action that love this is a way it's a two way that comes by sharing the gospel and keeping him hold you understand teaching the things and holding him this is two way holding him and that person has to hold us that is what we find in the word of god in the beginning from the garden of eden you look there what is happening there in the ch- ch- chapter 2 we see in, in in verse 15 after Adam been created. He, fifteenth verse says, "It took him with him. He teach him. He open his heart to him. He is holding him, not only with the words. Every day he used to come to meet him." the third chapter that is what one day one day and him failed to hold god his father hallelujah this is what i want to bring in your attention hold him he will hold you he first hold you he first embrace you cling on him he will not leave last two weeks we are hearing he will not leave you he will not forsake you hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. He wants he wants to hold you close. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even is disobedient. Even is not coming to hold the father. Is finding out and is putting, is removing his nakedness by giving a lamp and taking lamps earlier. Outer cover and making a cloth for him. And his love is putting them out of the garden. One more time. In his love, he putting them out of the That time also, his mind is, I want to hold him. I want to keep him. If he stay in the garden of Eden, and he say, he eat the fruit of the life, he will ever be a sinner, ever be a disobedient. He will be always away from me. I want to hold him. I want to hold him. That is why in his love, is putting Adam and Eve outside of the Garden of Eden. Look at that. Look at that. This is what he has given to you and me. Hallelujah. Holding. Holding others. Holding others by forgiving. Hallelujah. Did you notice that verse? Ephesians chapter 5, it start, how it start? 5, verse 5. Therefore, therefore, how the, how the fourth chapter is ending, you go and notice that. Their message is forgiving forgiving. Therefore, that forgiveness of the heart will come by looking at Christ, looking at God. Hallelujah. And that is why fifth chapter start. Therefore, imitate God. Nowhere else you can find that in this world. Only one place. That is from God. That we find in Calvary. The sacrificial death of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 This is what. Hallelujah. He just only dying and showing. Look at, at the, 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 the day in the upper room. The man who is going to betray him. The man who is going to hallelujah. Show him to the hallelujah. People. Of Jews. Judah is Kriyata. He want to hold him. At the last moment, he's trying to hold him close. He knows everything. But he want to hold him. He want to give another chance. He want to give at the last point of his life chance to hold him. But he failed. 
evil to all this law jesus christ evil dear brothers and sisters who are hearing me today what condition you go through what enmity you keep in your heart what all things he say against him as for given he want to hold you he want to hold you don't run away don't go away from his presence Don't run away. Look at Peter. After his betrayal, his meeting, his preparing the breakfast and calling, is not rebuking. Hallelujah. Are we are the followers of Christ are we are hallelujah i am and nowhere nowhere after the meditation and nowhere on no time i ask lord to give you grace to follow your example today anybody is keeping anything in your heart about anybody maybe your dear ones maybe your colleague maybe your neighbor this is a day god is speaking to us to hold them not only by sharing the gospel by the love of god that is a forgiveness that is a humbleness that is a obedience of god this is the mind of god this is the mind of jesus christ with this attitude we want to go out with this attitude when we go out and share the gospel god almighty will do miracle hallelujah 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 one example one example from the bible acts of apostles chapter 3 verse 1 on one, one verse hallelujah acts of apostles chapter 3 verse 1 on one verse you know you all know about that the a man who cannot walk is in front of the temple called beautiful there there comes peter and john for the prayer in that temple this crippled man who cannot walk is asking them give something Peter is telling look at us we don't have silver and gold what we have look at the gospel is preaching in Christ's name you 
get up and walk. Oh, he hold his hand and he become strong enough to stand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Master. It is in the third 11 words i want to bring one verse i want to read that after this miracle something we can see in the temple inside this happened in the front of the temple he get up and praising god and he enter the hallelujah enter the Uh, temple now look on the th- 11th verse now as the lame man who was healed hold on to peter and john you see that picture where he is standing now more than a temple is with peter and john temple not given a message temple not shown a love of god this people they are hold on and standing there this man Peter and John didn't they say yeah he was sitting in the rod up to this day we cannot we cannot keep him close to him he didn't say that Peter and John holding him this is what this is what the example this is what we have to copy this is what for the church this is what for the ministers this is what for the hallelujah individuals how many of i from the beginning i am here in this church how many of you come and heal god deliverance hallelujah receive the help receive the love of god fellowship and they were not building not willing to hold on this fellowship so many and we also fail all on these people who are coming and searching for the and who heard the message and who searching for the love we have failed today let us take this message there is no discrimination in the church of god we all are one that is why church of philadelphia hallelujah A different nations different color different language group different background hallelujah we are one in christ this is a message god has given to us hallelujah I miss going to finish one only one word I want to read Hallelujah first second Corinthians second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 18 second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 18 
now all things are of god who has reconciled us to himself through jesus christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation it did not is there now all things are of god who has reconciled us to himself hallelujah see the gospel of jesus christ come to us he reconciled me and you who did this who did the act of reconciliation who did the work of reconciliation god himself god himself on the calvary cross is sacrifice that is the act of the reconciliation look at the last verse now and as given us the ministry of reconciliation now we got the ministry we are not uh, doing that uh, that act but we got a ministry to do and in that ministry these two things is involved that is going down being with the needy and sharing the gospel and showing the love of god and connecting to the reconciliation work who done connecting to him hallelujah we already connected now we are connecting others hallelujah that is a ministry one hallelujah the act of reconciliation as done on the calvary cross we receive it we so we got a ministry you and me all the members of the church of god has got that ministry you will fill it by become an example and of jesus christ hallelujah coming down hallelujah we mind be renewed hallelujah mind be changed according to the hallelujah jesus christ we change ourselves and receiving this hallelujah ministry and going down dear brothers and sisters yes this is a covid 19 pandemic time i know what around us there is people who is waiting to hear and is waiting to reconcile with god that work has to done by you and me by the church this church of philadelphia god has planted in this island and given more language group people for no other purpose but imitating god by going down going out hallelujah i call all the ministers of this church all the members are the ministers hallelujah hallelujah somebody said who were born again they have the ministers and who were not born again they are the mission field hallelujah let us go out and bring more soul hallelujah what i was thinking what all things we are doing in this cold time i am going every day to my work i am 71 years old hallelujah and not sitting in the office alone i am going to that site and meeting people 
labels, workers, supervisors, people. This is the thoughts came to my mind. Why can't I meet somebody who is needy? I am telling you, I am ready to pray with anyone who is needy. Let us take this challenge. Be imitated, say, of God. By going and giving the gospel of Jesus Christ. and expressing and showing the example of Jesus Christ to to all them let them know that may the god help you help all of us to do that in the coming days may god bless you with this words hallelujah we are going to end uh, the communion over in house or in your place prepared we are going to have the holy communion pastor can you please come and read the bible verse hallelujah thank you jesus let us pray and prepare our hearts hallelujah father in heaven we thank you for the time you are given to us to come near to your table and you said do it in remembrance of me yes jesus we remember your divine exchange on the calvary cross your sacrificial death on the calvary cross you are become broken you shed your blood on the calvary to give us life we believe and as we share today from this bread and this cup let what all blessing you promised what was life you are promised that eternal life be upon each and every one father we thank you thank you for hearing our prayer in jesus name i pray amen 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 let us prepare the prepare our hearts to partake in this table i'm reading bible verse from first corinthians chapter 11 from 23 onwards for i received from the lord that which i have also delivered to you that the lord jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me in the same manner he also took the cup after supper saying this cup is a new covenant in my blood this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the lord's death till he comes therefore whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the lord but let a man examine himself and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup for he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself not discerning the lord's body for this reason many are weak and sick among you and many sleep for if we would judge ourselves 
we would not be judged but when we are judged we are disciplined by the lord that we may not be condemned with the world i am also reading from luke chapter 22 verse 19 and 20 on that night he took bread gave thanks and broke it and gave it to them saying this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me yes jesus we remember the last supper on the calvary cross last supper on the upper room and what you are with the disciple and sharing the bread and the cup also we remember you are suffering on the calvary cross as lord you become broken for us you are love your forgiveness we find in the calvary lord we thank you for your sacrificial death as we today live this bread we ask you to bless it even we cannot see your hand we believe we believe you are here and we thank you for blessing this cup bread of master jesus we thank you thank you for dying for us thank you for all coming to this world and giving yourself as a sacrificial lamb we thank you as we lift up this bread bless it and give it to us in jesus name amen amen thank you lord likewise he also took the cup after supper saying yes. this cup is the new covenant in my blood which is shed for you yes as we lift this cup we remember the the blood which shed on the calvary cross also we remember your suffering and you give your life through your blood lord we ask you to bless this cup who our share who our lifting the cup in their homes let it be blessed and let it be a blessing and remaining in the love of god and the life of jesus christ we thank you for our blessing this cup in jesus name amen amen thank you lord
shall be close in prayer. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for helping us to come together through this Zoom and the YouTube. And this, we thank you for the facilities you are given to us so much at this media. Thank you for our church and thank you for our families who are attended through the Zoom, through the YouTube, wherever they are. Lord, let them have your presence forever. Let them receive your blessing. Let them hold on you always in their life. And we know you will hold on us, so Master. Father God, let us receive today's word. You are, we are debatives to the gospel of Jesus Christ and sharing the love of God. Let us take it and do it in the coming days of Master. Let your church be alive. Let the church of Philadelphia be alive in this land of Bahrain. Let the people be blessed. Let the nation be blessed. Let the heavenly wisdom be known to the rulers of this nation. And Lord, let your people be live in peace. Father, we thank you. Continue to be with us. We give all glory, honor and praises to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Receive the blessings may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of our Father God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with you forever and ever and the children of God say Amen. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you. Mm -hmm.